Hi, here we continue our interview questions and answer. But in this session, we are going to see about um, concept on unified diagnostic service. It's very simple. It's, uh, we have just a very few questions, so you can spend uh, around three minutes. That's enough. Yeah. So the agenda is interview questions and answers. It's related to UDS. Again, it's not only the question and answers. It's a uh, concepts, everything then how to take control over questions like once you start to answer your new interview so how to take a, uh, control over your questions then the final question for you yeah so here the question number one what are the services that you work so far so here in this answer you have to be so aware that you can you should give only the service where you are so you know so good and uh, good at to expressive so so here we have said diagnostic session control easy research security access so whatever it is but you have to be so strong in the particular service you have to explain in deep so what are the things you, you know you can write even it may be five or six then question two in this um, this is a very simple the next to that so write any valid request and response a very general so general question that uh, the questions which arises in the in terms of unified diagnostic services yes so the valid request is see here i have written 1904 54 45 cf 05 so in this uh, this is uh, actually read uh, read ddc information uh, in terms of uh, snapshot data so here you can you can explain byte by byte so that if you are aware then it would be very good then you can really get impressed by giving only the particular 1904 service and sub function so here what are the nrcs you know yeah again here also you can just uh, write the nrcs whatever you know so even see i have written the condition not correct in condition not correct itself you can explain at least for 10 minutes like what are the in what are the conditions the, it will throw this nrc then the question four is can you can can you write any invalid scenario with the negative response yes so here again the continuity of the previous questions nrc so you can uh, give a very uh, precise answer for this because you may not get more and more you know a replication question by this so that i can just give 0 to 10 ff here ff is considered as a sub function not supported yes and here question 5 this is a final question of our session so what is pca length yes so the protocol information here the protocol information is nothing but which defines the number of bytes present in the frame that's what i have given the length which symbolizes the number of bytes present in the response or request whatever it may be so here you can just take a control that whatever you know you can put in your resume or you can uh, you can share that yes you know that so that you'll get see now the question for you what is p1 and p2 timer yeah you can leave in your comment then if you're not subscribed please subscribe and share to your friends catch you in next video bye bye